here we are. Samsung finally launches the One UI 8 beta program. And yeah, I had the first beta one installed on my Samsung S25 Ultra. If you have been following my channel or else, this is already the sixth test firmware, but it's also the first beta one. And the version guys is ZYER. Android 16, One UI 8, official statement from Samsung. There are even some new things. So I'm really thrilled to just put the phone on my desk and see what we can do with this. All right, let's do this. So here we are, as I've thrown the phone on my, all right, not the review table. This is very hard, by the way, on my review couch. Nevertheless, guys, this is it. ZYER, One UI version 8.0, Android version 16, guys. And this isn't kind of new to us because again, thanks to the great work uh, at XDA, we already got access to already five test firmwares, but it's also the first time we have something inside Samsung Newsroom. Samsung launches One UI 8 better program, the first generation upgrade starting with the new Galaxy Folderless. Now guys, I installed it and yeah, I'm yet to discover how I'm able to <laughs> <laughs> fault my s25 ultra by the way you know there are really really some interesting things inside i'm not going to read through all of this but i wanted to share something with you that i believe is kind of interesting one ui samsung's integrated software platform designed to help galaxy devices and simplify everyday routines and enhance productivity and convenience but check this guys thanks to the mutual partnership between samsung and google one year eight will debut in samsung newest foldables this summer and we'll gradually expand to more galaxy devices and even more here through open communication, Samsung and Google actively shared their respective design systems and real-time feedback with one another, accelerating software development that made One UI 8 one of the first UI platforms to adopt Android 16. And Samsung, thank you so much, guys. You really did a poor job on One UI 7 with all this delay and with the whole rollout. So yes, just giving us One UI 8 in May 2025 is a good sign, really. And I really hope that this time you guys are not going to screw this. Now guys, I wanna demonstrate something. I, I don't really wanna read all the text here, but what I wanna do is use my Samsung internet browser to summarize it, guys, because it's all about that sweet AI that will put us out of jobs and misery, that will make all the goods and products in the near future basically free, and, you know, will practically put us all in paradise. Well, this is the good version. Who knows what is the reality? So, what is the summary, guys? Samsung launches One UI 8 Beta, right, for the S25 in selected countries. The collaboration between Samsung and Google brings Android 16 to One UI 8, and it prioritizes personalized mobile experience with features like Nowbar and Nowbrief, which we already know and been using for customized insight and suggestions. The AI enhancements in One UI 8 will focus on, and now, see this is interesting, multi-model capabilities for network communication, a UX optimized for various Galaxy devices and proactive personalized suggestions to streamline daily routines. And then of course, some talk about security. And then beyond AI, One year 8 will introduce convenient features such as overcast for effortless audio sharing, QR and enable support for faster repair center service and an enhanced reminder app with voice control. And then of course, also some improved quick share functionalities. And guys, believe it or not, right, I'm not going to show you all the things I've discovered because you can check all my one year eight test firmware video so far, but the first thing I started was indeed the reminder. And yes, there is something new. There is something that doesn't exist on my reminder application on the One UI 7 on my S24 Ultra. Okay, so this thing here is important. I guess an old reminder, a past. But see here, guys, I got a call from a colleague of mine. I inclined a call and somehow I ended up with this reminder. And now, guys, the new thing is, and they're also saying it in the newsroom, like, hey, what if you go shopping and your hands are busy? You want to set a reminder with uh, just using your voice. All right, let's try to do this. Set a reminder for me to check One UI 8 animations. Set it for tomorrow, 12 o'clock. 
All right, tomorrow 12 o'clock. Uh, by the way, you can see the fonts somehow is not so aligned, but okay, the reminder is here tomorrow at 12. All right, medium, my reminder. So we can click here and you can set light, which is notification and short sound, medium, full screen alert and short sound and strong, which is gonna give you the whole thing. I can save this and I can go back to my reminders now. This is also the new reminder application, the new reminder UX or user interface, user experience, GUI, graphical user interface. Okay, I mean too many fancy words for something that is just a reminder app, but you see the main point. Samsung are really trying to push AI as much as they can. And remember guys, with One UI 7, they gave us the cross-up integration. Let me demonstrate. So I'm gonna start Gemini with this button here. And I'm gonna ask it to do something. Hey, Gemini, can you add a reminder for me to check One UI 8 performance tomorrow? I'm ready when you are. What can I help you with today? Please add a reminder for me to check One UI 8 stability tomorrow because it's the first beta. Let's do it at 5 p.m. All right. Samsung reminder. I've set a reminder for you to check One UI 8 stability for tomorrow at 5 p.m. Well, thank you so much. You're really wonderful, man. All right, we don't have to do this. You're welcome. <laughs> we don't have to do this because every time we thank AI, you know, like people are really losing money, uh, all the AI companies. Okay, good. So here it is, guys. This is the reminder. Okay, I have one scheduled for today. Uh, I have four scheduled tomorrow. Please set a reminder for me to check um, one or eight or nations. Okay, this is a bit weird, but it's maybe because I'm not a native speaker. And then I have to check one year age stability. Oh, and this is it, guys. So it all looks kind of nice. And they are also saying, let me show you guys, they're also saying that you are able to control all your reminders with the tip of the finger. And I'm not joking because, you know, they have so many things inside here, but they are saying enhanced everyday convenience. With One UI 8, it's not only about providing the AI experience, but it's also something else. It really, it's more convenient. It's intuitive, guys. The tools are designed to make your day-to-day -day experiences with your mobile devices even more seamless. And then a lot of things about sound and aura and, and this like that and boo-boo. And then the reminder app, will be your travel supporter with more convenient and intuitive features. If you're planning to, a trip to New York, like, I mean, yeah, of course, like everybody just goes to New York, like it's with your family, you can manage all your minus in one place as soon as you open the app with a user interface that is easy looking even for first time users. And you can also share a list of to-dos for your trip with the press of a button, with your hands full of shopping bags, so you buy that Gucci bag, that Louis Vuitton and stuff like that. Of course, you're in New York, right? You need to buy the good stuff. You can use your voice to add reminders on the go as it's voice enabled. Okay, and then sharing memories and quick share, but this is kind of it, guys. So let's say I want to see what I skilled tomorrow. I want to invite out uh, somebody. So you know what, I'm gonna press quick share now and I'm able to share you know, this mm, reminder with somebody else. In this case, that's again me. But what I kind of like is the fact that, yeah, I can just do like this and you scroll down and this feels nice. I have some grocery lists, I have some pickup reminders, monthly payment reminders, stuff like that. So you see where things are going with this. Okay, or you can do the standard stuff like alert types, the alert background and, and everything else there. And this is the reminder application. Now, something that I would like to check because if you have been following my channel, you pretty much know that Samsung updated several apps like the clock app and the music app. They're calling it for One UI 8. What happens when I go inside, guys? Do I have more updates? All right, Samsung Checkout, which I'm gonna update right now. Guys, this is it. This is One UI 8 with Android 16. Really hopes are high for Samsung to really make this right this time. And guys, with that said, I'm gonna be really testing everything that I can in the nearest days and try to see if they try to add some new things that are off the grid or let's say that are not inside a change lock. This is the calendar app. We still have to see if there's some new things there. Like I said, I really try to see if they added some new things. This is the clock application. Now all the sounds, they do work. So far, so good. Oh, and something guys, just from earlier today, when you launch the standard internet, like the one I used to summarize all the nice stuff that Samsung put there, right? When you click here, well, we're gonna get also a nice redesign tool section. That is important, I do believe, for the new One UI design language, because when you go inside the gallery and you click here, we're gonna see that we have the same menu, guys. So we have this thing here inside the gallery, all right? Now let me show you 
we have this thing here inside the Internet Explorer, which kind of makes sense. And I do believe that we do have also a redesigned file section with, you know, some nice new icons and stuff like that. So don't expect anything groundbreaking, guys. The whole point is this is what One UI 7 should have been. Who cares? One UI 7 already a history. All eyes now on One UI 8 and Android 16. And I know a lot of you even don't have One UI 7. So, of course, I was joking before, right? They need to still make One UI 7 great. But guys, this is One UI 8, this is Android 16, and I'm eagerly waiting for the home app for this to start working so that I'm able to test the animations. But with all that said, guys, yeah, one last thing. If you go inside to change the wallpapers, all right, you're going to see that we have some dynamic ones. I'm using the dynamic love paper, by the way, and I really love it. It changes the color. I mean, it's just a dynamic wallpaper, guys. Everything else still here. This is the now brief. I mean, yeah, people are using this and probably also like this. And something interesting, guys. Let's just go very, very quickly on the now brief and see what you can do. And they really now added a lot of things. All right, so sports, media player, the maps and stuff like this. So a lot of new live notification. I do believe even more for some other regions. So hopefully some more great stuff is coming and it's gonna hit us. Now the biggest question, who is gonna get this guys? Because availability of functions supported may vary by country and by model. And I'm not sure right now, but some of the countries that are getting this are these 36 countries. So if you live in any of those countries, guys, what you can do is just open the Samsung members up, scroll down like crazy, okay, like this, and then you're gonna get the better program. Now where I live, yeah, this is not available. So <laughs> guys, I am not able to just register myself to the Samsung official better. Nevertheless, guys, who cares? You can still sideload it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let's cross the fingers that this time Samsung will make this right. They'll execute and that everybody are gonna be happy. But yeah, we know people can never be actually happy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe, VSD over and bye.